Susan Dominique, and today we're going to explore some of our favorite makeup products and how they're made. But first, let's talk about lipsticks. Women have been wearing lipsticks since what seems the beginning of time. Back in 2500 BC, they would crush gemstones and apply it to their lips. Ouch. There is three main categories. There's matte, satin, and semi-matte. The steps for manufacturing are simple. Waxes for structure, oils for moisture, and butters for slip, and of course, pigment for color. The market decides what ingredients are trending in each category from year to year, but the basic elements remain the same. Okay, so let's break it down. The three most common waxes used are candelilla, carnauba, and beeswax. The most popular wax to use is beeswax, followed by the two plant-based waxes. Each one is unique in its characteristics and what it brings to the development process. So this wax creates a film and shine, and it comes in yellow flakes or pastels, but the most common are flaked. It has a characteristic smell that is from the leaves of the candelilla plant, and this is a natural-based ingredient, so the smell can't be controlled 100%. And this particular wax has a lower melting point of 70 degrees Celsius, which helps to balance the melting point of harder wax. So for carnauba wax, so this wax gives your lipstick structure. It comes in these yellow flakes. It also has a plant-like smell, and it's a hard wax with the highest melting point of 82 degrees Celsius. This wax is the oldest and most tried and true. It gives creaminess to the lipstick and it helps deposit the product onto the lips. It also aids in protecting the lips and gels together oils, which is why it deposits color on the lips and it creates a balm-like texture. It comes in white pastels and this is an animal byproduct, but it's important to know that bees are not harmed when harvesting the wax and it's the softest wax and it has the lowest melting point between 62 degrees Celsius and 64 degrees Celsius. Every lipstick must have three different kinds of wax, low, medium, and high, to create the most stable and functional lipstick. This part of the manufacturing process involves a touch of chemistry. The different wax types and heat levels are combined to create the many lipsticks that you see on the market today. The oils of a lipstick help balance out the rigid feel of a wax, and it's important to use heavier oils to hold the waxes together, much like a glue. The heavier the oil, the stickier the product, but it helps the product stay on longer and they have more protective properties. The most common oils used to create a lipstick are jojoba oil, sunflower oil, and castor oil. These oils give slip, a light feel, and aid in moisturization. Coconut, macadamia, and sunflower oil can also be used, but they are a little bit heavier. Now it's time to talk about the butters. These are additives that can help with structure and application. They have a melting point that is close to your body temperature, and it's important for slip and application. Some of the most common butters are shea butter or almond butter. Trends come and go, and the market dictates what oils or butters are used during the manufacturing process, but the bottom line is that they all serve the same function. Pigments aren't soluble in anything, so we have to disperse them as evenly as possible to create a flawless, even look. To reduce particle size, we use a triple roller mill and create a blend with oil. Pigments migrate when you mix and apply temperature, and our goal is to make sure that the pigments do not settle. So what's cool about the pigments is that it's entrapped in a crystalline structure of the solidified wax, and it's gonna hold the pigments together for a longer lasting wear. While these are the basic concepts, product development teams work with labs to create more complex formulas. So my favorite trend right now is a soft matte lipstick. So let's get down to business. So now I'm gonna create my base. I'm gonna pour in a light oil. And then I'm gonna take a Metafoam seed oil and some beeswax. And then I'm gonna add a harder wax. The next thing is the Shea butter. And then I'm adding a vitamin E. And then last but not least, a preservative. So now we're gonna melt everything together in a water bath. And then a half an hour later, our base is made. So now I'm gonna create my color, and the white is the most color that I'm gonna use. So after I mixed it well, I'm gonna add my color to my base. 
So now I'm gonna put it back into my water bath and then mix, mix it up. And this is the color we created. So next I'm gonna take a little bit of butter, vanillin for flavor, and silica for the mattifying finish. And then I'm gonna set it right back into the water bath. So now I'm gonna put it in the molds so that we can create our bullet. So I just pulled this out of the freezer where it hardened for a couple of minutes. And this is the final look. And my nude matte lipstick is made.